Okay, so I've got three words. Hellfire Club. Wait, so we've got to go through the forest? Yeah. Get like sacrificial sticks. Okay, so I've got three words. Hellfire Club. That's right, I'm at the Hellfire Club right now in Ireland. People tell you not to come here at night. Everyone I've spoken to from Ireland have said, do not come here at night. Well, guess what? I'm here at night. This is the infamous Hellfire Club. So much crazy history has happened here. I'm talking sacrifices. The elite sacrifice and hunting people this was originally a hunting lodge, but then sinister, sinister things happened. Tell you what, the stars are out tonight, I don't know if you can see that. I'm gonna get some amazing shots, so definitely check out instagram.com slash fighters. The shots are gonna be amazingly starry. I've been walking for about 15 20 minutes now. I didn't realise how much of a walk it was. It's all the way uphill as well. I don't know what's going on here, but this massive tree has fallen over. It's absolutely huge. A really, really old tree. But well, I'm knackered. I thought I'd have been fit after Romania. I'm gonna blame it on the high altitude. Wow. Wait a minute. You're telling me we've gotta go through the forest? Oh, I thought you were telling me something. <laughs> Wait, so we've gotta go through the forest? Yeah. Seriously, what the hell? I don't know if I'd have signed up for this if I don't know. We're gonna walk through the forest at midnight. Mate, you went in the most haunted forest in the world. Yeah, but that was different. Why? Um, because there were no reports of people murdering people in there. Yeah, good point. There were no reports of people dying in there. I'm actually dying. Yeah, stop for a second there. That hill, it's not catching up with me. So I thought I was actually done with, with forests. Looks like I'm not quite done yet. Oh, he's videoing. He's oh. just videoing. It's fine. Why? Why? Always me. Forest. Uh, by the way, guys, this is not a paranormal explorer. We just not had the chance to do it until now. And we decided we're not going to get a hotel. We're not going to sleep tonight. We're going to explore different places all night because we're going to catch the ferry tomorrow and we wanted to sleep on the ferry instead. So. Bright Brains has said, let's do it at night. Hellfire Club, nighttime, midnight. Ooh, all fun. <laughs> I don't think I'm gonna enjoy this. You think? Yeah, you're gonna love this, mate. I'm gonna be funny, but this is our last day. God made the most of it. That's a, what? We're gonna dead end. We're gonna dead end. No, do you know what this is? Guys, do you know what this is right now? What? Blair Witch. This oh, is how it happens. Dog, I had enough of that in the, uh, in the Romanian forest. Is it? Hold on, hold on, check your map. Well, it's no, too got to there. I'm not getting lost in this forest. So this is really weird. We even pick that up. You got one? You got one ounce free? Just lift that up. We found something very similar to this, like a burnt stick, like that, in the middle of the uh, Romanian forest. Like, it's, look, it's been made because it's got a spike on one end, bigger on the other end. Some say they're like sacrificial sticks. We found one in Romanian forest. Here's a clip right now. It's a ritual stick. Never know. No, it is. It's not. 
Someone burnt sticks here. It's a ritual stick. Yeah, it is. I think that was shaped like a snake. Look at that. Look at look at it's like, look at someone cut it. Yeah. So it actually was used for something. See, so yeah, that's a bit weird. All right, so we're here, boys. We've made it. It's just over there in the distance. But look at the view. Wow. We are on top of the mountains right now, guys. Hell yeah. Wow. It's like a circuit board. That's what it looks like. Like a big digital circuit board. I can't even tell you, I can't even describe how amazing the, the, the shots of this place are going to be. Right now, pause the video, pause it right now and head over to instagram.com slash exploring fighters and come and look at the Hellfire Picture Club. It's gonna be... <laughs> come and look at the Hellfire Picture Club. It's gonna be amazing. Honestly, come over and see all my other photos as well because you know, I actually spend a lot of time taking photos. Amazing photos as well, if I don't say so myself. But honestly, come over and say hi on one of my pictures and we'll chat. Right, I'm gonna go and say hello to the Hellfire Club before I come and take pictures of that magnificent uh, light pollution over there. Uh, luckily, we're not going to fall. No, we're not going to. Where? Someone over there. There's someone there. What the hell? There's people over there. What the hell are people doing over here at midnight? Probably the same as us, but so what? At least you know they were pretty friendly. <laughs> I was starting to worry just a little bit. I'm not gonna lie, I got a little bit worried. Just just a little bit. Here we are. The hell fire club. Let me get out of the wind before uh, I make my dramatic talk. Many sinister things happen on this ground right now. Some of the most sinister things on the planet went on here. Human sacrifice, baby sacrifice, rituals, demonic rituals. Some of the most wealthiest people on the planet. Some of the most wealthiest people on the planet used to sit in these rooms discussing what the next sinister act would be. So right now I'm gonna walk into the Hellfire Club. I've got a lot of friends who live in Ireland, especially around Dublin, and every one of them have said, do not come here at night. It's weird, this is just one room. No other entrances to the other sections of the building. Where's the stairs? Oh. Big fireplace, he probably sat around wow. this fireplace and I don't even know what they probably did. Alright, let's go up boys. Who's, who said orgies? I mean I said orgies. Orgies used to take place in there bro. 
I thought I was talking about your typical Friday night. Oh yeah, I have one too. Well. <laughs> <laughs> um, oh wow, I thought it was outside. It's not. It's just like a little, another little room. This is a weird building, isn't it? Yeah. Just a random umbrella. Men in Ireland built a hunting lodge on its site. Connolly is said to have destroyed the cane while building the lodge using the standing stone as the lintel for the fireplace. Well, let's go and have a look at that fireplace, Carl. I think we're going to find our spirit box location. So, I'm going to explore this place, but well, obviously, we've got dark arts paranormal here. So, if you want to see a paranormal investigation, head over to Carl's channel, Dark Arts Paranormal, and uh, you can see a full investigation in this place. Obviously, it's not October anymore. I'm not doing paranormal things on this channel. Not yet, anyway. It's way too soon. But as I turn around here, I'm on the I'm on the uh, not the ground floor, the next floor, first floor. Uh, if it was American, it'd be second floor. But this is first floor. But look at this. Look at that for a view. I, I think that's Dublin. From where? No, it might not be Dublin. Someone correct me. <laughs> I'm not sure. I don't know why they've got these like torrent style windows here. And one on that side. So this is the upper part. It's a big room. Another fireplace. And there's these archways, but I'm not sure what this one would have been for because it looks like a doorway, but I can assure you it's definitely not. But I'm pretty sure that it's not. And you've got these two, maybe candles are sat in them. I don't know. I mean, you've got to use your imagination here. I have no idea what these could have been for. I couldn't see it that then, so you're going to have to let me know what it looked like. And I'm pretty sure these bars weren't here when it was made. So, would it have just been open? Maybe there would have been glass at some point. Oh, someone's probably been... Ah, uh, people having fires. That's what that is. But it's very... It's a very symmetrical building. But it's just very strangely laid out. Although, there's no middle bit to that. It's just a very strange... Keep you down a bit, bro. Bye. Oh, wait a second, I'm, I'm going out. I'm not being in here while they're doing a spirit box. Not a chance. Not doing it. That's a little strange for you. <laughs> I'm just going to quickly look in this room and I'm going out. It's really weird. Where's the door then? Where's the actual, oh, where's the actual door? Is this the door? Oh yeah, so that's the doorway. Right, so you guys are doing a spirit box? Yeah, we're doing a spirit box. All right, well, I'm afraid I'm gonna wait outside. Mm. Oh, I want none of this business. <sighs> it's a plane. Or something. It's a bomb. Awesome. Hi right, guys, good luck. See in two seconds. At least we know he's not going to leave. It's not always one. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. around the side 
to a block by the wind of it. Any spirits? So there's been thousands of years of history at this location and 300 years of history to do with the Hellfire Club but I'm not going to I'm not going to go through all that I'm going to let you guys if you want to research it what I'm going to tell you is actual crimes still get committed here regularly I mean look at this a guy went and stabbed a bunch of campers cutting the throats open so stuff still happens here uh, I don't know if it's something to do with the atmosphere or if it's just uh, a place that's been shrouded in mystery over the years that encourages people to come and, uh, you know, use these kind of reasons to attack people and, and get a name for themselves. I don't know. I'll let you make your mind up with that. We're just wandering around as deer there. They scared the absolute hell out of me. Like, they're nosy deer. That scared. Honestly, I just, I turned around, look, and there was just eyes pointing at me. That scared, I'm not even joking you guys, that scared the hell out of me. That made me jump like hell. Look at them all. You see them in the distance, just the eyes. It's just their eyes. Shit. That's weird, that isn't it? Yeah, look, that's scary that from up there. Why are they so tame? Well, they're fighting each other. <laughs> seen anything like that before that's weird why is the deer so tame there's like stood there watching us like what are you doing on here Man, are you not crazy? yeah they're not used to seeing humans out around here at this time running a spirit box for 20 minutes did it right so we're back down we're at the bottom we're back at the car yeah. um guys i didn't i didn't want to do that i didn't want to do that kind of stuff that's not that's not what i wanted to do on this trip and especially this time of year and to be honest i'm glad i didn't it's just uh it was just too much for me up there no that was a little bit intense man i'm not gonna lie that that was a little bit intense mate what was that like bro Bye, mate. infatuated <laughs> <laughs> Right, so when I left and they started running the spirit box, it actually turned around and shouted Daniel. Obviously, my name's Dan, Daniel. Um, but it, 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 I don't know why it said my name for the spirit box and it was saying Carl's name multiple times. You've got to go and watch the video, guys. Head over to Carl's channel. It'll probably be out. Maybe it might even be four weeks after this video, to be honest, because Carl's got a bit of a backlog. But definitely subscribe to him, click the notification and keep an eye out for that video. You've got to watch it. Say that's What? Wow, do that section AM. What? What section? No, though it's now like, yeah. Alright. So, what did you think about well, it? Uh... I'm not gonna lie, that was pretty damn intense. I didn't think it was gonna get hairy like that, but it generally did. Like, oh, mate, it, it was kick, it was kicking off big time in there, wasn't yeah, it? Yeah, it was. That, I've never been to a place before where my name's been said in multiple, multiple times in different accents. It, come, it said my name in an Irish accent, <laughs> right? Your name came First, through. middle and last. But yeah, it said my middle name. We used to only talk about middle name the other day, weren't we? Yeah. And then um, obviously it said your name and then it said injured. So you obviously went to go check on Dan and stuff like that. And I was just taking pictures outside, trying oh. to trying to stay warm. Yeah, bro, honestly. And then we, we had them three, three like massive footsteps next to us. Yeah, yeah was Telling us to right, stay say, that, say no more guys, head over and watch that video. <laughs> it is legit, no messing about. <laughs> Yeah, yeah. And then and then we noticed some kind of uh, something in the sky. I was I had my back turned and then these two started freaking out, saying they saw a flash and, and a big streak across the sky. Could have been a UFO, guys. Could have been a star. Yeah. We don't know. But it was funny because only a few days ago, when we was actually on the ferry, we was listening to the Irish news and they were saying that in County Clare, aircraft 
have been registering UFOs in the sky, like literal multiple aircraft have been radioing through to the tower saying, listen, there's unidentified flying objects in the sky, what's going on? And uh, yeah, it's been sweeping Ireland at the moment, UFOs, so, so make your own mind up. I'm not saying UFOs exist, but you know me, I like my UFO stuff, Air 51. That's how we do it, Carl. Yeah, that's how we do it. All day, every day. Every day. Area 51. <laughs> Beautiful night tonight. I don't even know if you can see the stars out, but the stars are out in full force. I got some amazing shots. Consider subscribing for more amazing things. I'm traveling the world now. I'm going to all different countries. We're actually driving to Africa soon. I might even be driving to Africa when you, this video gets released because I've got enough to do me till January. So definitely consider subscribing, click the bell button, leave me a comment, what did you think of this video? I mean, we're just, we're just an adventure channel, we're not an urbex. So I had a comment a couple days ago and it said, and it said, I'm subscribing. This used to be the best urbex channel on the web. Well, I've never been an urbex channel. I did abandon, but I've always done adventure videos. I would never consider myself as an urbex channel I make adventure videos, whether it be haunted, abandoned, secret, anything. It, just as long as it's a, a thrill ride, an adventure for you guys to see and come with me. And that's what I do. I make adventure videos. Until the next adventure.